So we just ordered a crocodile. Uh, we paid 35,000, which is what? Well, two pounds. Look, looking forward to it. Hello and welcome from Laos. We are in Dientian. They pronounce it. I think we pronounce it Dientian. We are in Palat Sao, local market, local crafts, local food, local everything. So we just arrived last night quite late. We are here, woke up early, came to the market, and we're going to show you the market and two temples on the way out. Come on. So, so this uh, shopping market, we went to shopping markets all over South America. We went in Hanoi as well and Cat Bar. We went into loads of markets. This one's like none we've ever been in before. It's more like a shopping mall than a market, a gallery. A lot of cheap stuff. and I mean, it's cheap. Everything's cheap. But as you see behind me, it's like a beauty place. Yeah. And a hairdresser. And a hairdresser. We just got ourselves SIM cards, really cheap. We're From paying, here, yeah. We got uh, 30 gigabytes for 100 uh, kip. So five pounds, five maybe. Pounds each, so that's so cheap. For 30 it was much gigabytes. more expensive in um, Hanoi, but then we bought it at the airport there. So everything so. seems cheap, and they got lots of stalls, lots of cool stuff, and definitely interests you. They've got food bit here as well. What food have they got? Good, but look at the fabric on the right. So cool, yeah? All fake Louis Vuitton. Oh, this is Michael Kors, actually. Oh, Michael Kors bag. Kasha. So this is more like textiles, material, clothes. And the fake stuff is so cheap here. There's all these fabrics here. Yeah, amazing. Crocs. Ooh. They love the Crocs in Asia. Love their Crocs. So obviously we've been forced into a beauty shop and what can we buy? Perfumes, perfumes, oh a phone, yeah, looks cheap. What are you doing here Dan? Oh. <clears throat> a lot of gold up here. God, gold everywhere this is the gold floor but it looks like it might be real gold some of the stuff yeah because there were signs like 18 carats a lot of people what is going on it's a gold fever crazy we came out from the market didn't buy much uh, but on the way back we found this place if we're just coming up from the corner, have a look. Tat Dam Stupa. Stupa. So we know Stupa is just a Buddhist building. So many people believe that this is inhabited by a seven-headed Naga, apparently. A uh, Naga is like a divine being, half human, half serpent. He tried to protect the people by the Siamese army in 1827. Looks like this is about 200 years old, if not older. This random Stupa popping out. In between bars and restaurants. Yeah, you got bars and restaurants. We're not going to stay here very long because it's scorching hot. The sun is so strong. I feel like I'm just going to get a sunstroke. Yeah, it's so hot. Very, very, very hot. So uh, we moving on. So after a uh, quick looking at the stupa. 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 We're going to go to one of the coolest places we think here in Vientiane. It's so cool. So much. We're going to show you it now. It's like a market. I don't know if it's a pop-up market. I don't know if it's just because it's Sunday it's on. But there's so much. We're going to show you a few of our favourite stalls. And try plenty of food. Like you can see, there is a lot of people. And look this is, at this This is place. the start of the market. Yeah, oh look, they've got drinks here. So you'll see there's loads of food stalls. with all weird and wonderful things. Fish, chicken. How cool is this? We're going to head further down. There's so many food places and we're going to find the ones that we think look the best and try it. Bear me in mind, like look, this is 20 kip. This is 15 kip. One pound is um, about 18 kip. 18,000 kip. What are they having here? What are they bought? Oh. 
We've got like Sausage. eggs, balls. Fried chicken. Oh, who doesn't like fried they chicken? They love the fried chicken here. Yeah, this one doesn't look like the nicest. Oh, look at this. All kind of different sausages. Sausage beds. Yeah, apparently you have to try um, Lao sausage. It's a thing. This just keeps going and going and going. Honestly, it must take, what, 15 minutes to walk down to the end? And then walk back round. It's the other side as well. Oh. Look at these, fives. So that's like 30 pence. That's crazy. For one. Maybe we'll come back here for a dessert after we buy our meal. Yeah, I think so. And if you're feeling very adventurous, there's something here you could try. Isn't that crocodile? How cool is this? Look at those donuts! They're incredible! Is that sausage? Oh, might be. That looks really cool. One, yeah? Show us the money. Look at this little handle they give us. Sushi. Oh wow. Look at that sushi. Brilliant. We're not sushi fans, but you've got like those sausage stands everywhere and noodles, ice cream. Look at those eggs. What's coming out of them? What's in those eggs? Oh my god, this is like Christmas for me, it came early. The clothes and everything is so cheap as well. So far we love it here. And like you can see the food, it smells delicious, divine. Oh look at all those, they've got like a bamboo thing here. What, what is this? It has like food inside there. Eh? dumpling thing as you saw I'm not quite sure what's gonna be in it <laughs> yeah. it's not hot no not warm uh, maybe it's, I think it's supposed to be warm is it I don't know A rice no shrimp oh maybe? shrimp yeah shrimp rice I prefer it warmer. I think it should be warmer. The inside's quite good. I'm not sure on the outside too much. A little bit doughy. Mmm, nice. Yeah. It's sweet. It's sweet. salty. It's delicious. Mm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. So a good start. Yeah. We haven't done with food yet. We just uh, a little detour. A little detour, yeah. the crocodile uh, we paid 35,000 which is what well, two pounds two pounds yeah and they chopping it up there chopping it up over there so cool. you look, looking forward to it yeah. Lao is 
is definitely out at Bangkok. That's all slab of meat. Lao is definitely a food adventure for us. Yeah. There's a Manchester United fan everywhere you go in Lao. Kop Chai. We got a crocodile! We found a creep and abandoned area to eat this. Yeah, we will just sit here. Do you want to have a look? I don't know. Wow! Interesting. Not it's a lot of kind meat. Of yeah, with bones. Lots of bones? Yeah, there are some bones. This is a bone. Like, I thought it would be more like chicken, but this is, looks to me more like fish. It does look fishy. And the sauce? Chili, yummy. Chili sauce. It smells good. So let's try. It smells like a fish. It smells like fish. It smells like fish. Is that too much chili? It's chickeny. Chickeny. But no, actually, I think it tastes like fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of them are a little bit more rural. If you see. How do you know how alligator is supposed to be cooked? I have no idea. Do you want to try now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try. How hot is the chili? Not that hot. Okay. Dip it half. Yeah. But it tastes to me like fish. Definite fish taste. Yeah. We might Google if we haven't got a fish. <laughs> we might Google do um, crocodile supposed to taste like fish, but it's in water, maybe. Uh, so I probably say if you want a, that sort of flavor, it's good. I just buy a fish. <laughs> if it's cheaper, a croc is cheaper. Get a croc. What fish would you say like a cod or a haddock or something? Yeah, cod yeah. or haddock. Something like that. It's like very soft. How's the bone? Ooh. Mm. Very delicate. I think it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Considering we tried other weird foods around the world, I think this is one of the tastier ones. It has a, like a crispy barbecue flavor. Crispy barbecue fish. Yeah. It's good. It actually tastes good. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Me too. Stitch. We're gonna finish and show you next thing. Yeah. <laughs> So many freebies here. We're looking at this food and we're thinking maybe order something. I don't know, I like the look of this. What did you get? 50? Yeah. So they potato and pork. Oh. So we just ordered something, it's not fish and it's not meat, we don't know. We don't know what it is. So it might be vegetables or cheese or whatnot. We'll find out in a minute. It's good, it's deep fried, can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Go chai. Let's find a spot and enjoy this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are sitting looking over the Mekong River. Uh, we we're overlooking away. the Mekon River. Oh, we got away a little bit from the noises. Yeah. And we've got our balls of uh, not knowing what they are. So, if you didn't hear us, we asked these guys, are there meat inside? They said no. 
we used the translator and we said are they fish inside they said no and we just said oh look, we'll just have them so we don't know what's inside vegetables or potatoes or cheese and you've got some seaweed they put some mayo and ketchup i imagine that's ketchup shall i try it see what's in them sausage oh that's meat sausage on its own or cheese on its i can't own. see inside on its own it's dropping okay it's like a deep fried sausage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Tastes like pancake. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. The inside tastes like pancake. The outside is crispy and gooey. And then you've got the saltiness of the sausage with a sweet inside of pancake. Does it make sense? This is so confusing. They have got sausage? Yeah. Like? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I would eat that. I would eat that again. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'd eat that again. Mm -hmm. Deep fried pancake covered sausage <laughs> with seaweed, ketchup, and mayonnaise. The spring rolls. We got oh, like a sauce. Cool. Have we got a box we could like put it in? Um, cold. Yeah. Gooey, they look gooey. More chewy than crispy. They look crispy. Look They're chewy. Interesting. Not as good as the ones we've had at Vietnam. No. Sure. But then they are from a stall, so we will definitely try some in a restaurant somewhere. I think else. maybe it's because they've been sitting there for a while out. Yeah. They're cold. Whereas all the ones we had in Vietnam were fresh. And these aren't. Yeah. So I have to get up because my ass is... This is very hot. Ah, they have the see-through noodles there. Mm. Ah, oh. Very odd flavor. Very odd, yeah. Mm. I think it's the noodles. I definitely can taste pork. I just don't think it goes well in this specific one. No, it doesn't work well. mm -hmm. no. Very odd flavor. But we had so much food and this is the first one which we are not too keen on. Yeah, this is the only one that we're not that keen on. We got five of them. But um, I think it's because they've been sitting out for a while and the flavor doesn't really go. But anyway, I'm going to tuck into those balls because they're delicious. How crazy busy it is. And the craziest thing is, they've got no bins anywhere, so we carry all our rubbish and rest of people just throw them on the floor, a lot of people. It looks like it, should go down? Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at this game. So you have to break, a ba you have to break balloons. Oh, the guy is doing pretty well. Wow. <laughs> Just over a pound. We got Oreo and chocolate. So let's try quickly. We got some sprinkles as well. Just a very chocolatey, like a really rich. rich, rich chocolate, which I like. Not very Oreo y. It didn't look Oreo y to me. Oh, yeah, that's better, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that. Nice. Nice? Yeah. Like a good quality ice cream, mm -hmm. yeah? So we just quickly came to this bar and we ordered beer lao, two big bottles. Uh, she asked if we want ice, so we said yeah. And we have got to look at this uh, craziness here. So we're going to end it now. Uh, we had a great first day in Vientiane. Love Very it. Very good. Fun, fun, fun. The next one will be from here as well. We're going to do some more stuff. So we'll see you then. See you then. Bye.